PCP and, and, and then the next thing I know I'm introduced to heroin and then cocaine and methamphetamines and, and so my life began to spiral down and down and down. I started doing things that I never thought I would do and I started hanging out in places where I had no business hanging out and the next thing you know I'm stealing stuff and I'm getting busted and the popo riding down on me and I, they're hauling me off to juvie and, and, and I'm thinking man I, I, it's going to be different somehow I got to bust a move but, but I couldn't get out of that trap. I couldn't get out of it so, so the next thing you know I'm 18 years old. I'm already a drug addict. Full-fledged drug addict. Now, now I, I've got 10 years into my addiction by this time and, and I cut, catch my first aggravated robbery case uh, right here in Houston, Texas. And so that was my first trip. Well, I went down again and even a, even a third time. And at the top of my fourth trip to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for aggravated crimes, for packing pistols and acting bad and violence and rage and anger and bitterness and resentment and hatred and just I had become a too big thug thief, a punk, you know, just stuck in my ways, man, and I fell on my knees in this jail cell, and I looked up, and this was April the 29th of 1993, and I looked up to heaven, and I said, Father God in heaven, I, I don't have anything to give you but this heroin and cocaine and this alcohol. I'll give you this violence and fear and this rage and anger, and I'll give you my eyes, my ears, my hands, my feet. Father, I know of you, but I don't know you. I want to know you. I want to know your person. Personally, I want to have an intimate relationship with you. Father God, if you never get me out of the penitentiary again as long as I live, I'll give you the rest of my life if you'll deliver me from these demons. In Jesus' name, amen. And so.